Hey guys, are you ready to raid the spice drawer and the tea drawer? Let's go. So I first of all remember that I had some blueberries in my freezer. They're frozen, but I'm going to put them in the microwave for 30 seconds and they should be fine to use. So here are some spices that I got together. This is cinnamon, a pomegranate juice that I have, some turmeric, some paprika, which is really nice and red. I have this bag of black tea and I have a bag of green tea. And I have some mixed berry tea and some black pepper and some matcha. And here are my blueberries. So here's all my spices. I also put a little bit of coffee on the very last one, just plain coffee from the coffee maker. And here's after I added a tablespoon or two of boiling water. And I let it steep for three minutes, you guys. I'm making a little palette here because I want to see exactly what colors I'm going to be working with. I've never done this before. So look how they spread. They spread just like watercolor, which is super nice. I'm kind of used to watercolor, so this is going to be fun. I'm a little disappointed with the coffee. I thought coffee was going to be stronger, but the black tea has a gorgeous color. But look at the matcha. That's my favorite, I think. I think if you open the green tea bag and you actually... um. Uh, rip it and mix it might be better look at the blueberry you guys it's so interesting because when it's wet it's red but as it dries it turns into blue I don't know if you notice but what I'm doing here is after going once on every every little round dot I'm going again on the two first dots because I want to play with saturation which is one of the properties of color that we're we're um, learning here uh, the more pigment you add the more saturated a color is going to be Saturation will change the intensity of your color, right? The more saturated, the more intense that color is going to look. I'm going to start here by doing a drawing really quickly. This is, I wanted a portrait, but I wanted a portrait of an alien. So I started thinking of what would be cool, you know? So instead of having a center lip split like cats, she has two. She has three eyes. And then I was thinking, how can I make her a little more balanced? Of course, earrings are important. But I thought of making a kind of a lure, but not a lure, it's more of a friendship lure so that, you know, if her friends see the light on, then they can come and talk to her. Otherwise, don't bother. She's not in a good mood. That kind of thing. I erased a little bit of my erase and I started off by putting the darks with the uh, blue, which is my blueberries, right? Beautiful. And then I added the um, turmeric and that is actually black tea right now. So the um, the reddish stones are all black tea. Went back again with more blueberry, putting matcha there. So it's just all really nice. It's just some um, some nice. I found that matcha gets a little pasty, and I have to scrub the pigment around. But it's just such a lovely pigment. It looks so beautiful. It's like watercolor, but um, it has a um, a little bit of a consistency to it. All of these spices do which I think you guys are gonna love. So over my yellow from the turmeric, I added a little bit of paprika just because paprika has a nice reddish tone and I wanted her to be a little healthy looking, so um, alien healthy. So, and you know, it's just kind of playing with it, a little more paprika here and there, a little more black tea, and it's just um, lovely, lovely to play, to play with this. I added um, some of the lighter tones, I think it was, um, some of the pepper on the background and then I um, just added a little bit of the green tea the regular green tea and kept working on it some paprika for her dress and um, made a mistake there I um, always have two glasses of, wa of water one for the clean water one for the dirty water right so when you work with watercolor it's good to have one that you can always keep clean this is what she looks like scanned in my computer. The colors are very, very nice. So I started a new drawing because I wanted to enjoy really these earth tones that the spices and the berries give us, right? These are really earthy, natural tones. And um, I found this photo that I love and it's two hands created by leaves holding a globe. And I thought, hey, this is really neat because it, it, the photo itself already has some earthy tones. So I decided to just kind of copy the photo, which is, you know, not exactly good stealing. 
it's not really good stealing. I wouldn't sell this and say, hey, everybody buy this painting, it's mine. But, you know, it was so, so fun. And sometimes it's okay if you're going to do something just for fun. Why not? I started with the, the paprika this time. I made a little bit of a mistake there. I should have left the tips of the fingers blank so that the light looks like it's reflecting on a little minor mistake. But um, I, I thought that overall the greens and browns really, really turned out nice on this one. And um, yeah, added some brown for the earth. That's all paprika there and some matcha. And uh, if you notice the sky, it's all blueberries, right? And the bottom of the painting uh, on the background is all turmeric. So turmeric is a lovely yellow color, you guys. So nice. And really, if all you have is turmeric and paprika, or if even if all you have is paprika, because of saturation, you can make the whole painting monochromatic. You can make a whole painting with one spice, if you consider the saturation point, right? It is, it's a beautiful thing. Matcha, especially, you can go so, so light and so, so dark, but blueberries too, blueberries are awesome. So anything that you can play with the saturation to go from very, very light, even add a little bit more water or whatnot and onto the very darkest dark you can have a gorgeous painting using only one spice of course i went crazy i raided my <laughs> created my spice drawer and used everything i got but you guys you guys get the point right so i love this one this one i think um, turned out really nice and these are 30 minute paintings only okay so i just spent 30 minutes on it uh, I would have liked to spend more, but I wanted to make it something that is quick for you guys. So um, so that's it. So I, I hope you guys enjoy this. Think of it as watercolor, but a little more fun, right? So I'm going to, I left also on our website how exactly to do this, but it's basically add some hot water to spices, wait for three minutes and use them as if they were watercolor. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you guys soon.